The biomedical field is a competitive and challenging industry. Preparing for a job interview in this field can be stressful. This video is meant to provide you with the top 25 biomedical interview questions and their best possible answers. By studying these questions and responses, you can gain an understanding of what employers in this field are looking for. Therefore, you'll be able to present yourself as the most qualified candidate, increasing your chances of securing the job. 1. What inspired you pursue a career in biomedical engineering? As a child, I always had a fascination with the human body and its intricate workings. This curiosity was further fueled by my love for technology and engineering. When I learned about the field of biomedical engineering, it seemed like the perfect blend of these interests. The idea of using engineering principles and technology to improve healthcare and make a difference in people's lives really appealed to me. I was particularly drawn to the innovative and problem-solving nature of this field, and the potential it has to revolutionize the way we diagnose and treat illnesses. 2. Can you explain in your own words what biomedical engineers do? Biomedical engineers serve as a bridge between the fields of engineering and medicine. They harness their knowledge and expertise in both fields to design and develop innovative solutions that are aimed at improving patient care and health outcomes. From creating state-of-the-art medical devices, prosthetics, and artificial organs, to developing groundbreaking software systems for processing medical data, their work is pivotal in modern healthcare. They also play a significant role in conducting research on biological systems, as well as in the implementation of clinical procedures. They continuously strive to advance the capabilities of medical technology, thereby enhancing the quality of life for countless individuals. 3. What are some of the most significant advancements in biomedical engineering that have influenced your work? Biomedical engineering has seen numerous impactful advancements, some of which have significantly influenced my work. One such development is tissue engineering. It has opened up new possibilities in regenerative medicine, making it possible to create functional tissues in labs, thereby influencing my work in the field of tissue repair and regeneration. Another major advancement is the development of medical imaging technologies. Advanced imaging tools like MRI, CT scans, and ultrasound have revolutionized diagnostics and treatment planning, providing me with critical insights into the internal workings of the body. Finally, the advent of biomechanics has been instrumental in my work. It has helped me in understanding the mechanical aspects of biological systems, which is crucial while designing and developing medical devices or prosthetics. Thus, these advancements have not only influenced but also enriched my work in biomedical engineering. 4. How do you see the role of biomedical engineers evolving in the next decade? Biomedical engineers will likely play a pivotal role in the advancement of medical technology in the coming years. With rapid progress in fields like AI, machine learning, and nanotechnology, the scope of biomedical engineering is expected to expand greatly. Biomedical engineers will be at the forefront of designing and developing innovative solutions to address complex health issues. They will also be instrumental in integrating these technologies into healthcare, ensuring their efficacy and safety. Additionally, as personalized medicine becomes more prevalent, biomedical engineers may have to design solutions that are tailored to individual patients' needs. This could involve creating customized implants or devices, or developing systems for delivering personalized treatments. 5. What experience do you have with medical device design and development? My exposure to medical device design and development began during my time at university, where I was involved in a project to develop a portable ECG machine. This hands-on experience was instrumental in shaping my understanding of the design process, from the initial concept stage through to the testing and validation stage. Since then, I have had the opportunity to work on several medical device design projects in my professional career. These have ranged from working on the development of wearable health monitoring devices to designing advanced imaging systems. Each project has presented unique challenges and has required a different set of skills and knowledge. Through these experiences, I have become proficient in using CAD software for 3D modeling, have developed a solid understanding of material selection for medical devices, and have gained experience in conducting rigorous testing to ensure safety and efficacy. In terms of development, I have been involved in various stages of the product lifecycle, including manufacturing, quality assurance, and even post-market surveillance. I am familiar with the regulatory requirements for medical devices and have experience in preparing documentation for regulatory submissions. So, in a nutshell, my experience spans the entire spectrum of medical device design and development, and I believe this comprehensive background will be beneficial in this role. 6. Can you describe the principles of biomechanics and how they apply to your work? Biomechanics is a crucial field in biomedical engineering that bridges the gap between biology and physics. It involves the study of the mechanics behind biological systems, such as the human body's movements and the mechanical behavior of tissues. In my work, I apply these principles to understand how forces impact the body, which aids me in designing effective medical devices. For instance, when designing a prosthetic, I must consider the forces it will encounter and how it will interact with the body's existing mechanics to ensure comfort and functionality. Not using the principles of biomechanics could result in ill-fitting or inefficient devices. Therefore, biomechanics is integral to my role as a biomedical engineer. 7. What is bioinstrumentation, and how have you utilized it in your projects? 
Bioinstrumentation is a branch of biomedical engineering that focuses on the development and application of tools and technologies used in diagnosing and treating diseases. It encompasses the design and implementation of medical devices and instruments used in medical and biological research. In my projects, bioinstrumentation has been integral. For instance, in one of my projects, I was tasked with designing a device to monitor heart rate variability. I utilized my knowledge of bioinstrumentation to develop a device that was not only accurate but also user-friendly. This device used sensors to record heart signals and a microcontroller to process these signals to calculate heart rate variability. The device's success greatly depended on my understanding of bioinstrumentation, from sensor application to signal processing in device design. 8. Describe your familiarity with regulatory standards such as FDA regulations or ISO standards for medical devices. I have a comprehensive understanding of both FDA regulations and ISO standards for medical devices. My experience in the field has necessitated a thorough knowledge of these guidelines to ensure product safety and efficacy. I have worked on multiple projects where we had to adhere strictly to these standards from the design phase through to post-market surveillance. I have been involved in preparing documentation for FDA submissions and have successfully navigated both pre-market approvals, PMA, and 510K clearance processes. For ISO standards, I have applied the principles of ISO 13485 in implementing quality management systems in medical device production. This ensures that any device we design and develop meets customer and regulatory requirements. 9. Discuss a biomedical engineering project you worked on from concept to completion. What challenges did you face? One notable project I worked on involved the development of a prosthetic limb. The objective was to create a more flexible and user-friendly product. The project started with an extensive research phase, where we studied existing prosthetic limbs and identified their shortcomings. The subsequent design phase was challenging as we sought to incorporate cutting-edge technology while keeping the device lightweight and affordable. We faced hurdles during the testing phase as the prosthetic limb did not initially function as we had hoped. It was a trial and error process, and we had to go back to the drawing board multiple times. Despite these challenges, we were ultimately able to produce a prosthetic limb that surpassed our initial goals. 10. How do you prioritize tasks when working on multiple projects simultaneously? Considering the nature of biomedical engineering tasks, it is essential to prioritize effectively when working on multiple projects. My approach entails understanding the scope, deadline, and resources of each project. I assess the criticality of the tasks involved and align them with the project's objectives. Also, I consider the dependencies and constraints of each task. This way, I can determine the order of tasks that ensures efficient use of resources and time, while maintaining the quality of the output. In the event of unforeseen circumstances, I reassess and adjust the priorities accordingly. 11. Can you provide an example of how you handled a project that was falling behind schedule? In a previous project, we were developing a novel medical device, but we were falling behind due to unforeseen technical issues. First, I initiated a project-wide assessment to identify the bottlenecks. I discovered that one part of our design phase was causing delays. I arranged a meeting with the design team to address this issue and we collectively decided on an action plan. We agreed on daily short stand-up meetings to track progress, and I also arranged for additional resources to expedite the process. By doing so, we were able to catch up on our schedule and deliver the project on time. This experience taught me the importance of communication, agile project management, and prompt decision-making in handling project delays. 12. Describe a time when you encountered a technical issue with a medical device. How did you resolve it? During one of my projects, our team faced a significant problem with a medical imaging device. The device was not providing the desired clarity in the images, which was crucial for accurate diagnosis. I initiated the troubleshooting process by analyzing the device's functionality. Identifying that the issue was with the software, not the hardware, I collaborated with the software team to diagnose the specific issue. It turned out that the software algorithm was not processing the image data correctly, resulting in blurry images. We worked together and improved the algorithm, which led to a dramatic increase in image quality. This experience has taught me patience, the importance of a systematic approach and collaboration to solve technical issues. 13. What strategies do you use to troubleshoot problems with biomedical equipment? The process I typically employ for troubleshooting biomedical equipment begins with a comprehensive analysis of the problem at hand. I carefully observe the malfunctioning equipment in operation to identify any irregularities or deviations from its expected function. I then refer to the equipment's technical documentation and my own knowledge of its operation to formulate a hypothesis about the cause of the malfunction. Once I have a probable cause, I test my hypothesis by manipulating the device or its settings and observing the results. If my hypothesis is correct, I proceed with the necessary repairs or adjustments. If not, I revise my hypothesis and retest until I find a solution. I also ensure that I document the problem and solution for future reference. 14. How do you approach risk assessment and quality control in your projects? My approach towards risk assessment and quality control incorporates a systematic and proactive method. I start by identifying potential risks at each phase of the project. I use reliable tools and techniques for risk identification. In terms of quality control, 
I ensure that each stage of the project is aligned with predefined quality standards. Regular audits and checks are an integral part of this process. I also believe that an open line of communication with my team helps in identifying and mitigating risks swiftly, thereby maintaining the quality of the project. 15. Tell me about a time when you had to explain a complex technical issue to a non-technical audience. How did you ensure they understood? During my time at XYZ Corp, I was tasked with explaining the functionality of a newly developed medical device to a group of non-technical stakeholders. Realizing that the technical jargon might confuse them, I decided to use simple language and relatable examples. I compared the device to something they use in their everyday life, making the explanation less intimidating and easier to understand. I also made use of visual aids, such as diagrams and flowcharts, to provide a visual representation of how the device works. After my explanation, I encouraged questions and provided clear responses to ensure their understanding. I believe it's crucial to adapt communication strategies according to the audience's level of technical understanding. 16. How do you collaborate with other healthcare professionals to improve patient outcomes? In my experience, successful collaboration with other healthcare professionals largely depends on effective communication, respect for expertise, and a shared goal of patient well-being. I strive to understand the specific needs and constraints of each professional's role, which allows me to design and implement biomedical solutions that enhance their ability to provide care effectively. For instance, in one project, I worked closely with clinicians to develop a more efficient cardiac monitor. By incorporating their feedback into the design process, we were able to create a device that not only improved patient monitoring but also streamlined the clinician's workflow. This experience underscored for me the value of interdisciplinary collaboration in advancing patient care. 17. Have you ever trained or mentored a colleague? What approach did you take to ensure their understanding? Yes, I have had the opportunity to train and mentor several colleagues. My approach was based on understanding their learning style to tailor my mentoring accordingly. For example, if someone learns better by doing, I would provide them with hands-on tasks and practical examples. If they were more of a visual learner, I would use diagrams, flowcharts, or other visual aids. I also made sure to establish open lines of communication, encouraging them to ask questions whenever they had any doubts. I firmly believe that patience and empathy are key in any mentoring relationship, and I tried to lead by example by demonstrating these qualities. 18. What ethical dilemmas have you faced in your work? How did you address them? There was an instance when I was working on a project involving the design of a certain medical device. During the testing phase, we realized that while the device was working effectively, there was a small chance it could potentially cause harm to patients in certain circumstances. This posed a clear ethical dilemma. We had to decide whether to move forward with the product knowing the risks or halt the project entirely to ensure safety. After a thorough discussion with the team and consulting with healthcare professionals, we decided to revisit the design to eliminate the risk. This experience taught me the importance of considering all potential outcomes and always prioritizing patient safety. 19. How do you ensure that your work adheres to ethical standards in biomedical engineering? I prioritize ethical compliance by remaining updated with the latest policies and guidelines in the field. I actively engage with professional organizations, attend seminars, and read relevant literature to ensure my knowledge is current. It's crucial to maintain awareness of evolving ethical standards. In my projects, I make sure to uphold patient safety, data privacy, and confidentiality. I also promote open communication and transparency within my team. If there is any ambiguity or a potential ethical concern, I consult with seniors or ethics committees to gain clarity and guidance. 20. What emerging technologies in biomedical engineering are you most excited about, and why? I am particularly thrilled about the advancements in 3D bioprinting. This technology can be used to replicate complex cell structures, which could revolutionize the way we approach organ transplantation. By using a patient's own cells to print organs, we can eliminate the risk of rejection and the need for immunosuppressive drugs. It also has the potential to dramatically reduce waiting times for organ transplants. Additionally, I am fascinated by the potential of nanotechnology. Its applications in drug delivery systems could significantly improve the efficacy of treatments, especially in cases where conventional drug delivery methods are less effective. This technology can precisely target diseased cells, reducing the impact on healthy cells and minimizing side effects. It's an exciting time to be in biomedical engineering, and I look forward to contributing to these groundbreaking developments. 21. How do you think artificial intelligence will impact the field of biomedical engineering in the future? Artificial intelligence, AI, will undoubtedly transform biomedical engineering. AI algorithms can analyze data faster and more accurately than humans, leading to improved diagnostic and treatment methods. Machine learning models can identify patterns in complex biomedical data, enabling personalized medicine. AI can also automate routine tasks, freeing biomedical engineers to focus on creative problem solving and innovation. As AI continues to evolve, its impact on biomedical engineering will only increase. It's an exciting time to be in this field, with the potential to dramatically improve healthcare outcomes for patients worldwide. 22. What is the most rewarding aspect of being a biomedical engineer for you? As a biomedical engineer, one of the most fulfilling aspects for me lies within the capability to make profound differences in people's lives through my work. 
The fusion of engineering principles with biological knowledge allows the development of cutting-edge medical devices and techniques that can significantly improve patient care. It's exhilarating to see the direct impact of my work in real-time, making healthcare more accessible and efficient. Seeing patients recover and thrive because of the devices and techniques I've helped develop, instills in me a sense of purpose and satisfaction that's unparalleled. This is what drives my passion for this field. 23. Can you discuss a failure or setback you've experienced in your career and what you learned from it? I once worked on a medical device design that, despite rigorous testing and revisions, failed to meet our projected efficacy in clinical trials. This was a significant setback, not only for me but for the entire team. We had invested a lot of time and resources into this project. However, I learned valuable lessons from this experience. I realized the importance of flexibility in engineering and the necessity to adapt quickly to unexpected outcomes. It also taught me that failure is not the end but a stepping stone to improvement and innovation. I learned that in biomedical engineering, our primary goal should always be to improve patient outcomes, even if it means revisiting our initial plans. 24. What specific skills or experiences make you a strong candidate for this position? My deep understanding of biomedical engineering principles, combined with practical experience, equips me to excel in this role. My master's degree in biomedical engineering gave me a solid foundation in the field and I have honed my skills over the years working on multiple projects involving medical device design and development. I have a proven track record for effectively collaborating with healthcare professionals to improve patient outcomes. I also have a strong understanding of regulatory standards such as FDA regulations and ISO standards for medical devices. These experiences, combined with my ability to manage multiple projects simultaneously, make me a strong candidate for this position. 25. Do you have any questions for us about the role or our company's projects in biomedical engineering? I am interested in knowing more about the scope of projects your company is currently involved in, specifically in the realm of biomedical engineering. I would also like to understand the primary responsibilities associated with this role. It would be beneficial to learn about the team I would be working with and the company's expectations from this position. Could you also elaborate on the opportunities for growth and learning within the company? Lastly, can you share some details about the company culture and work environment? In wrapping up our discussion on the top 25 biomedical interview questions and answers, it's essential to remember that beyond knowing these responses, your understanding of the subject matter, confidence, and communication skills play a critical role in acing your interview. Each question provides an opportunity to showcase your expertise and passion for the field. Continual learning is key in such a dynamic field as biomedical science. We hope this guide has been valuable in preparing for your upcoming interview. If you found this information useful, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.